please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. Sage here for Calkine Media and thank you for joining us for our educational series. Today we're covering what is a crypto token. A cryptocurrency token is a computer-coded alphanumeric string that links real data on a blockchain. In other words, it is a hash of a transaction on a blockchain that can relate to the specific transaction. For example, a cryptocurrency token may describe a digital asset like a collectible or a unit of value. The tokens can be handy for blockchain security or other utility needs. One popular cryptocurrency token is Bitcoin native to the Bitcoin blockchain. Each Bitcoin has a unique alphanumeric or cryptographic code that can identify all available transactions related to it. How are crypto tokens different from crypto coins? Well, often used interchangeably, these two have a few important distinctions. Let's take a closer look at crypto tokens. They can be built on any existing blockchain. For example, ERC-20 is created on the Ethereum blockchain. Tokens exist to create dApps using programming skills. They can be used to represent smart contracts or for any other utility. Crypto coins, however, have the following attributes. They are an asset native to their own blockchain and a crypto token creation first needs blockchain. Examples of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ether, etc. Coins are used to transfer money, store value or as a unit of account. So crypto coins are like currencies. They can't be staked to earn more money. As understandable, crypto coins have limited utility compared to crypto tokens. Crypto coins are a subset of crypto tokens and the functionality of tokens is wider than receipt and payment. They can even represent equity, smart contracts, security or gaming benefits. Now while coins are more so just money, crypto tokens serve a broader purpose. So how do crypto tokens work? Tokenization is the process of creating crypto tokens and allocating value to them. The crypto tokens in essence represent an existing digital or physical asset and crypto tokens symbolize a set of rules and every token belongs to the blockchain address. Any person who holds the private key for that blockchain address has access to the respective token and that person is thus the owner or custodian of that crypto token. The custodian may or may not be the crypto token developer, however. It is the developers who have the right to publish their tokens on a cryptocurrency exchange. Every cryptocurrency token, therefore, represents a tradable good. The tradable commodities are coins, contracts, in-game items, a share in a company or any voting rights. Due to this, few people refer to them as crypto assets or crypto equity. Tokens are created to provide security to the underlying assets. If something happens, the crypto tokens get frozen. No cryptocurrency tokens are movable until the unfreezing happens. So what are the types of crypto tokens? Existing crypto tokens are of the following types based on their characteristics. Payment tokens are like crypto coins and function as a medium of exchange, store of value or a unit of account. Popular existing cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Dogecoin, Litecoin, etc. are payment tokens and a similar feature to fiat currencies is that payment tokens gain or lose value based on the supply and demand of the token. The creator demand and lower supply increase value. During the lower demand and greater supply decrease value. However, the supply of crypto payment tokens can be regulated by the platform. Utility tokens give access to the blockchain based product or service. For example, Polkadot tries to eliminate the complex and costly crypto mining process and enable dApps, decentralized apps and smart contracts. Security tokens represent traditional assets like stocks and shares, which can be converted into a digital token on the blockchain. These token holders have owner's hips rights. 
Many regulators are controlling how security tokens are issued and traded. These have come into existence from the emerging needs of security, and these serve as direct on-chain symbols of real-world securities as on-chain instruments. Non-fungible token is a digital symbol of a unique asset not having a standard value. And as the name suggests, holders can't exchange non-fungible tokens for another directly. The data represented by these cannot be duplicated or altered. Platform tokens utilize the blockchain infrastructure or the so-called platform to deliver a dApp for different uses. These benefit from the blockchains they are built upon, gaining enhanced security and supporting transactions. Transactional tokens serve as units of account and are exchanged for transactions related to goods and services. These are like any other currencies but in some cases provide additional benefits. The only difference is that transactions can take place without a traditional intermediary or central authority. But all transactional tokens are not currencies. They can even be smart contracts used for transactions. Hopefully that's been informative for you and if you do like the information please like, share, comment on the video below. If you subscribe to the channel press the bell icon and you'll be notified of the latest videos. For more information, regular updates, head to the website calkinemedia.com and this is Sage for Calkine Media.